KETV investigates how much time Omaha's mayor spends outside the city. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. We told you about Mayor Gene Stothard's proposal to change the city charter to allow the mayor to run things while out of town. Right now, she has to transfer power to City Council President Pete Festerson when she leaves the state. KETV News Watch Evans Alex McLoon's investigating how often the mayor's had to do that in the past year. He joins us live tonight. When the mayor returns to Omaha Wednesday, she will have spent 84 days out of town since July 27th of last year. There wasn't one decision that was made while I have ever been out of town that was critical that the city council president had to make. But in those 84 days away from Omaha, Mayor Jean Stothert was absent for the fire that burned Knox Creek Chemical Plant, an ordinance on a city health director, the December derecho that ripped across the Midwest, a state attorney general investigation, finding 43 clergy members from Omaha possibly abused victims in the Catholic Church, and a flash flood that washed out cars in the old market last August. Whether I'm on business travel or personal travel, um, you know, it's, it's, it, it's the same. I can still make decisions. I still understand how to be mayor. And uh, it doesn't matter whether I'm in my desk or sitting on my phone as I am right now in Cincinnati visiting my son. During these 11 occasions when the mayor transferred power, her office says she was either out of town or out of the city. But on one occasion in December, her office said she left town to spend Christmas with her mom in St. Louis. The deputy city attorney tells KETV investigates elected officials don't accrue or use vacation, annual or sick leave. Still out of town Tuesday and speaking only through text message, the mayor again insists she can run the city away from her office, saying being away from Omaha doesn't prevent her from being aware of the day to day operations of the city. Even though the city clerk says power is only transferred when the mayor leaves the state, city council members in charge of amending the city's charter are standing firm, leaving the rule of transferring power unchanged. So the city council doesn't agree with the substance of the proposal that was sent to us by the Charter Commission, but we very much appreciate the work of the Charter Commission. Meaning City Council President Pete Festerson, not Mayor Jean Stothert, was running the city of Omaha each of these 84 days while she was out of town. That's 54 business days, 25 of those on weekends, and just five holidays. Stothert says like everyone, she takes time to visit friends, family, and for personal reasons. Again, a city official says she returns to Omaha Wednesday. Rob, back to you. All right, Alex, thanks. And you're going to have a chance to speak about the 10 proposed charter amendments two weeks from today. That's August 16th. Other suggested changes to the charter include adding to the process of filling city council vacancies. That proposal suggests having a public hearing in which the applicants answer questions from the sitting council members and the public. Another amendment adds affordable housing and sustainable developments as elements of the city's master plan. Another proposal adds sexual orientation and gender identity to protected civil rights. Now, if the council approves any of these amendments, they would go before voters in November. And you can read the full list of the 10 charter changes online. Go to this story at KETV Mobile's app.